yeah. Big Jones the Juggernaut back for some more movie reviews. Today we are looking at Predator 5, Prey. Um, I think, don't quote me, but I think this one might be a series. I think it's actually a series on Hulu. Um, don't quote me on that. I think maybe when we take a look at it, it might have the Hulu logo on it. But yeah, another Predator film, man. And you know what? The Predator movies, I haven't seen all of them. I was a real big Predator fan. Um, Predator 1 and 2, obviously your classics. I like Alien vs. Predator. A lot of people fight me on that one. They say that's when the franchise kind of dipped a little bit. I mean, it was certainly different, but I mean, first of all, they did a lot of things in Alien vs. Predator that I really liked. You know, they brought together the two franchises, which is can't be easy. I mean, I don't know if they were inherently part of each other's universe, like as far as the comics go or the the lore goes. I have no idea, but I love the I love the way they smash it together. That's kind of why I like. I have a good perspective on things because I don't read all the comics and do all the research until after I see it. You know, so I think in this case, the way they brought Alien and Predator together was really really cool. So I like Alien versus Predator. Now I didn't see Requiem. I didn't see that one, but I did see. Uh, I think it was the Predator. I think it was the one. It was the one with uh, Keegan Michael Key is in it, and they're after the kid because he's like got some special brain power. I don't know, I forget, but it was cool. I liked that one. It was like it was the predator who was chasing down the other predators because they were like bad blood, you know. I I saw that one. I like that one, but this is. It says on here Predator Five. I feel like there's been more than five, but anyway, it's called Prey. So we are gonna check it out. There's something out there. I've never seen anything it is like it. From the director of 10 Cloverfield Lane. I'm not frightened by a bear. It's not a bear. The Predator's first hunt on Earth is the movie event you can't miss. You think you're ready? Pray. Ready to Nice, nice. Okay. Okay, so it is a so I was half right. It is on Hulu, but it's not a series. I guess it's a I guess it's a straight to movie, straight to TV movie, straight to Hulu. Um, that's cool, man. I'm down with that. I like I like the prequels. You know, it looks like it's a prequel. The Predator's first hunt on Earth. That sounds cool, man. I'm down. I'm I'm down for this one. I think it's cool. I like when they go back and they kind of touch on how things got started. And plus, the Predator franchise they they haven't really let me down yet. Like I really can't think of a bad Predator movie that I saw. I mean, they do kind of get into the typecast a little bit. I mean, they are kind of struggling for like a really original storyline I think but this might be the one you know they're going back to ancient times like we found out in Alien vs Predator that they've been there since like you know the Aztecs and the Incas and those ancient times so it looks like they're going to touch on that and how they got started and you know I think what we're all kind of waiting for with the Predator movies is we want to see more of the humanization more of the interaction like you know obviously they're not just psycho killers they do have a code so we got a little piece of that in Alien vs. Predator. Actually, we got a piece of that all the way as early as, like, the first Predator when he, you know, he put down his weapon and he went hand-to-hand with Arnold. So, you know, every every movie we get a little a little piece of it. So I think, I think you know, I'll, I'll be down for this. I'll be down to watch the movie. So what do you guys think? You up for an, another Predator film or is these ugly motherfuckers enough for you? <laughs> Let me know. See you next time.